Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at the moment method for estimation of the parameters of a negative binomial distribution. The probability mass function of this negative binomial distribution is given by Px of x is equal to equal to r plus x plus 1 cx that is the combination of r plus x plus 1 with x and then p power r and then 1 minus p power x so obviously x is our random variable r and p are the parameters so in theory the mean value of this random variable is given by r into 1 minus p divided by small p and the variance is given by r into 1 minus p divided by p square so these are the moments from theory that is first one is the first moment and second one is the second centralized moment that is the variance and of course from uh, data the sample values that is uh, the sample mean is given by the arithmetic average and the sample variance is 1 by n summation i xi minus x bar whole squared now by equating these results we can uh, estimate the parameters r and p so from the first equations that is r into 1 minus p that is a that is the theoretical mean is equal to the sample mean this is equation 1 and then we have r into 1 minus p divided by p square is equal to sample variance that is equation 2 First, by simply using this r into 1 minus p by p that is this expression is already in the second equation so by just replacing that part with x bar we have x bar by p is equal to the sample variance therefore the parameter p can be estimated as that is it is can be uh, estimated as p hat equal to the sample mean divided by sample variance so in other words p hat will be equal to summation over i xi divided by summation over i xi minus x bar whole square so that is the estimate of the parameter p now from equation 1 by simply substituting the estimate of parameter p we can determine the value of or the estimate of the parameter r r is equal to p into x bar divided by 1 minus p and the value of p that is the estimate of p is x bar by sample variance that means it will be equal to the sample mean divided by sample variance x bar divided by 1 minus x bar by the sample variance. so that is the estimate of the parameter r therefore r hat is equal to upon simplification the sample mean squared divided by sample variance minus the sample mean so that is the estimate of the parameter r or in terms of the actual data it will be equal to summation over xi whole squared and then n multiplied by summation over i xi minus x bar whole squared minus the summation over i so that is the uh, expression for the estimate of r hat the estimate of r to summarize in this video we have looked at the application of moment method for application of the moment method for estimation of the parameters of negative binomial so the probability mass function is given by the combination of r plus x plus 1 with x and p power r 1 minus p power x r and p are the parameters to be estimated so the theoretical means are given by expectation of x equal to r into 1 minus p by p and the theoretical variance is given by r into 1 minus p by p square that is these are the values from the mass function the probability mass function itself and then we have sample mean and sample variance and based on the moment method we can equate them that means this r into 1 minus p by p that is sample that is the theoretical mean e is equal to sample mean and similarly theoretical variance is equal to sample variance and then uh, from by substituting the equation 1 that is the expression for r into 1 minus p by p as x bar in equation 2 we can derive that p hat that is the estimate of p which is the moment method based estimate as x bar by sample variance and then by using equation 1 we can estimate that r hat is equal to x bar square by sample variance minus x bar that is sample mean square by sample variance minus sample mean which can be expressed in, the, uh, in terms of actual data by this expression or this ratio thus we have derived the moment method based estimates of the parameters r and p of the negative binomial distribution thanks for watching